Hey everyone, the 2014 Royal Rumble about 48 hours away and I am looking forward to this as I do every year, the Royal Rumble, my favorite pay-per-view event of the year. So this will uh, no doubt be uh, a good one, I'm hoping at least, although I, I do have a, a few doubts, but let's start off with the undercard and, and do some predictions with that. Uh, the New Age Outlaws challenging Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust for the Tag Team Championship. And you know, I go back and forth on guys coming back and getting title shots and whatnot. I like how they've kind of built up this whole thing with the New Age Outlaws, and I don't expect them to win the tag team titles, but I do think it's going to be a highly entertaining match. I think all four of these guys are great talents, and uh, you know I'm kind of disappointed that it's the kickoff uh, for the show and not on the actual card, but I will be watching and, and uh, interested to see how it goes, but I do think that the Brotherhood, uh, the, the Rhodes Brothers, will win and retain the tag team championship. Um, Daniel Bryan taking on Bray Wyatt. Uh, lots of different thoughts and theories on the quick change for Daniel Bryan. Um, I think Bray Wyatt needs this win. I don't know that he's necessarily going to get the win. Uh, I'm curious to see where this feud is going to progress and where it's going to go from here. Um, I don't think it's going to end necessarily at the Royal Rumble. Therefore, I think uh, Bray Wyatt gets the win at the Rumble and then builds up to something else with Daniel Bryan down the road, perhaps even at Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania itself. Big Show taking on uh, Brock Lesnar, or Brock Lesnar, and uh, that is going to, in my opinion, be Lesnar winning. This is going to be his, his kind of push to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I would suspect he will face the winner of Randy Orton versus John Cena uh, at Elimination Chamber. And... Orton and Cena, you know, this is the umpteenth time that they've faced off. Uh, I, I'm not a big Randy Orton fan, you guys know that. John Cena is, is somebody who has constantly been in the spotlight uh, in terms of the championship match or the, the big match at WrestleMania he has for the last, uh, well, since 2004. He has been involved in a title match or the marquee match, being the one with The Rock, uh, two years ago, every year at WrestleMania. So... It'll be interesting to see what they do with him this year. I don't think he's going to win the championship from Randy Orton. Uh, so I do think that Orton will end up retaining. And I, you know, the next few weeks are going to be interesting to see what they do with Cena when it comes to his WrestleMania opponent. Lots of rumors out there. Uh, let's address the Royal Rumble match itself. Right now, as of this recording, and this is going to be posted around 5 o'clock Central Time on Friday night before the Royal Rumble, before SmackDown, I, I read the spoilers. I didn't see any uh, Rumble announcements as far as participants go. So right now we know 20 men will be participating uh, so far of the 30 men that typically do participate, or 30 individuals, 30 superstars, because we have had divas in there before. But anyway, uh, of the ones who are, are on the uh, website announced to be in the Royal Rumble itself, and I'm, I'm going kind of with everything that people are saying online too, Batista seems to be the one to pick to win this year. I don't like that idea, but I think that that is kind of the direction they are headed. I don't see of the names on there. CM Punk, who drew number one, according to Kane, um, and maybe Biggie Langston. Those are your other two kind of upper tier guys right now, and I don't even know if I consider Biggie Langston upper tier. Uh, everybody else has just kind of been mid card or below. You know, the Shield notwithstanding, of course, but I don't look for anybody from the Shield to win. The Wyatt family, I don't think any of those guys are going to win it. And, of course, you've got The Miz and Rey Mysterio and Xavier Woods and R-Truth and Kofi Kingston. You know, none of those names stick out to me as being main event players for WrestleMania. Um, and the Royal Rumble now is, is going to be a little more unique, I think, in that... They're probably going to start going or have to go with, they don't have to, but I think they will continue the trend of going with more established main event superstars for that to go on to WrestleMania because now there's only one title to contend for. Before they uh, unified the titles, you had a guy who won who maybe could pick you know, his, his, his opponent. Now it's, it's that one set established championship. And, you know, last year, of course, Cena won it. Uh, two years ago, it was Sheamus, who was uh, not really new to the main event picture, but as a babyface, he was kind of new to that whole thing. Um, and then before that, it was uh, Alberto Del Rio, who was really, truly the first superstar to win the Rumble in quite some time, who hadn't 
been in that main event kind of push before uh, winning the Royal Rumble. And I, I like that. I like the Royal Rumble winner kind of being created and made into a championship contender. And although Del Rio didn't win the title that year at WrestleMania, he did eventually go on later that year to win the WWE Championship. So it's an interesting dynamic. Uh, Batista right now is who I'm picking. There are 10 guys who haven't been announced yet. I'm assuming some of those are going to be mystery men. Some of them may be from the undercard because really five huge players in the WWE right now are on that undercard who are not uh, announced for the Royal Rumble match itself. Of course, Cena and Orton being two of them, uh, Daniel Bryan, The Big Show, and Brock Lesnar. Bray Wyatt, yes, he's, he's good. I, I don't put him in that same class yet because he is new to the roster, and I'm not dissing him by any means. There are NXT guys, too, that I wouldn't mind seeing thrown in there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see of those uh, six participants in the undercard matches, five of them potentially could be in the Rumble. Uh, I don't assume that the winner of the championship match is going to be a part of that. So uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be interesting to see, will they throw Daniel Bryan in? Will they throw uh, some mystery guys in? I've heard rumors already rumbling that uh, certain superstars who have been on the injured list are in uh, the area now where the Rumble's taking place. I think it's Philadelphia. I don't even remember now. So anyway, I've rambled on way too long. I'm going to be watching the Royal Rumble. Who do you think is going to win? Be sure to comment here and don't forget to subscribe to my123cents. Thanks everyone for watching.